Uh, I'm Henry. I'm a demo setting page demo five and two web kit. Uh, I have a, uh, a real good application. This is the N8 working with uh, web technologies and HTML5. This, this menu is implemented with uh, HTML and JavaScript. It has a nice scrolling effect, several layers scrolling. We can start with the jumping Norwegian. I can uh, make the guy jump and steer him by tilting my phone. We have uh, made the sensor data available in WebKit. So easy thing to do with with, uh, with Qt. Uh, I can show the uh, HTML5 canvas element. This is a feature in the HTML5 specification. You can draw 2D graphics. Um, you might, for example, illustrate some data from, from the network with the canvas. Um, Qt also supports CSS3. This is CSS3 transforms and transitions. This allows things to slide in and uh, user interfaces that where, where things uh, rotate and move and, and the user gets the, the context because things can, we can show with an animation where things are moving. Another uh, demo where we use the sensor is, is this. You can see that we can make things move quite quickly on the screen. And uh, if, I, if I go like this, uh, you might see that uh, it, it's actually quite sensitive to the, to the movement. Uh, this demo that we're running here, we've uh, compiled this with the Qt SDK, the 1.1 one one technology preview. Uh, I can show you some of the benefits of using WebKit, also on the computer. This is the Google Chrome browser, and uh, I've, I've just started the, the uh, I've started the same demo. Uh, just pointed Google Chrome to the same uh, HTML5 files, and uh, you can see that the menu still works nicely. And the Norwegian guy was still jumping, and uh, you can even um, do some bubbles. Uh, this illustrates the benefit of, of HTML code that you can you can uh, reuse code across platforms. For example, you might you might use the same code on an Android app, an iPhone app, and then on an app for Symbian based on Qt. Uh, I can also uh, illustrate the, the, the Qt simulator we have in, 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 uh, in the Qt SDK. I, I can, uh, for example, simulate the sensor. I'm, I'm simulating sensor events with this phone and, and uh, steering the guy. Uh, the guy is, is, is falling. It's, it's, it's actually not very easy to be successful in the game with this, but at least I can test that my application uses the sensor data correctly. I can uh, test everything on, on the desktop, make sure that it works well, well here. This is another canvas demo, a classic example that just uh, visualizes some, some uh, data using the HTML5 canvas. Um, the Qt creator um, also has some nice new goodies for web developers. For example, this is a, a CSS file. You can see that we have a uh, color uh, highlighting for the syntax. We can collapse the, the parts that we are not interested in right now and expand all those parts that we, we really want to see. We have all the web code here, a, li a little C++ wrapper code. This this is a, uh, always, can be always, always almost the same code. So you don't necessarily have to know any C++ to write a web, web, web kit based app for with Qt. Um, when you're ready, in the simulator you can just choose the Symbian device target or the N900 device target and then click the friendly green play button and the, the SDK will compile your app as, as a Symbian app and send it to your phone over USB for testing. This is a single download package that you have to download and uh, you have everything, you're all set to develop HTML-based applications for, uh, for Symbian for example or the other platforms that you support. Yeah.